वेलकम टू एस पी न्यूज इन नोट Have you ever imagined how you might listen to music without hearing it? Now, let's introduce you to a fascinating paradox. A woman who has done just that. Meet Evelyn Glenny, a world-renowned musician who happens to be deaf. A native of Scotland, Evelyn's journey began with an unfortunate diagnosis. As a little girl, she was found to have gradual nerve damage that led to her hearing loss. But did that stop her from pursuing her passion for music? Absolutely not. Instead, it fueled her determination. Evelyn's love for music was ignited when she saw a girl playing the xylophone. This encounter sparked a desire within her to not just play the instrument, but to truly understand it. But you might wonder, as we all do, how does a deaf person listen to music? To uncover this mystery, we'll delve into the life of Evelyn Glenny. and explore her extraordinary journey. Born in rural Scotland, Evelyn Glenny was destined for an extraordinary journey. A journey not just of miles but of sound and silence, rhythm and resonance. Evelyn's love for music began early with melodies and beats echoing through her childhood home. A natural affinity for rhythm and sound drew her to the world of music, a world that would soon become both her refuge and her platform as a young girl of 8 Evelyn's mother noticed a change a subtle shift a quiet retreat into silence Evelyn was losing her hearing she hid her growing deafness from her friends her teachers even herself she continued to play to perform to lose herself in the music she loved but by the age of 11 the world had started to fade her grades slipped The headmistress suggested a visit to a specialist. The diagnosis was confirmed. Evelyn's hearing loss was due to progressive nerve damage. She was advised to wear a hearing aid, but Evelyn was not one to be deterred by setbacks. She was a fighter, a dreamer, a girl with a passion for music that was louder than any silence. She watched a girl playing the xylophone one day, the rhythmic beats resonating with her own heart. She decided to learn the instrument, to feel the vibrations through her fingertips, to hear the music in a new way. Her talent was recognized by Ron Forbes, a percussionist who encouraged Evelyn to listen not with her ears but with her entire being. She began to feel the higher and lower drums distinctly. She could sense certain notes vibrating in different parts of her body. Her mind opened up to a symphony of sensations, each note a pulse, a heartbeat, a whisper of sound. Deafness did not stop Evelyn from pursuing her dreams. Instead, it became a stepping stone to her unique musical journey. It was not a barrier, but a gateway, a path that led her to a world where music was not just heard, but felt. A world where silence had a rhythm of its own. and every beat was a testament to her resilience evelyn didn't listen with her ears she listened with her entire body this was the paradox that defined evelyn glenny's journey into the world of music devoid of conventional hearing evelyn discovered an extraordinary way to experience sound she felt the music quite literally this was not an overnight revelation it was a slow deliberate process of exploration and discovery each note each sound was an adventure a voyage into uncharted territories of sensory perception she experimented with different instruments each one offering a new palette of vibrations a new symphony of tactile sensations a turning point came when evelyn encountered the xylophone The instrument resonated with her in a way that none had before. Its percussive nature, the way each mallet strike sent a ripple of vibrations through the instrument and into her fingertips. It was a revelation. She was not just playing the xylophone, she was feeling it, interacting with it on a level that transcended the auditory. Her mentor, Ron Forbes, played a pivotal role in this journey. Recognizing Evelyn's unique talent, he encouraged her to listen not with her ears, but with her entire being. 
he pushed her to explore the sensory dimensions of sound, to perceive the subtle differences in pitch and tone through touch and vibration. Evelyn described this experience as feeling the higher and lower drums differently. She could sense certain notes in different parts of her body. Some resonated in her chest, others in her feet or fingertips. It was as if her body had become a living, breathing musical instrument, finely tuned and responsive to the symphony of sounds around her. This newfound sensory hearing was more than just a coping mechanism for Evelyn's hearing loss. It was her key to unlocking a world of music inaccessible to others. It was a new way to listen, to experience, to perceive. It was the birth of a musical maestro who felt the music in every fiber of her being. This newfound sensory hearing was Evelyn's key to unlocking a world of music inaccessible to others. Deafness was no barrier for Evelyn. It was a unique strength. Once she discovered her unique way of hearing, Evelyn Glennie's musical journey took a flight. It was as if she was born again with a new sense of purpose, a new way to experience the world and a new language to express herself, the language of music. Her first major milestone was her audition at the Royal Academy of Music in London. Imagine this, a young woman who couldn't hear in the traditional sense performing with such fervor and finesse that she scored the highest in the Academy's history. This was a testament not just to her talent, but also to her indomitable spirit. Moving from orchestral work to solo performances, Evelyn was making a name for herself in the world of music. Her performances were not merely shows, they were experiences. Audiences across the globe were spellbound by her ability to create a symphony of sounds as she masterfully played over a thousand different instruments. And then she became the world's most sought-after multi-percussionist. Evelyn Glennie was no longer just a musician. She was an inspiration, a beacon of hope for anyone facing challenges and a symbol of the power of human spirit and determination. Throughout her career, Evelyn has been showered with accolades. She's received numerous awards, including the prestigious Soloist of the Year Award in 1991 from the Royal Philharmonic Society, a testament to her extraordinary talent and her unique approach to music. But for Evelyn, it has never been about the awards or the accolades. Her goal was to connect with people, to touch their hearts with her music, and to show the world that no barrier is too high if you have the will to climb. Evelyn's story is a testament that our abilities are not defined by our disabilities, but how we choose to navigate them. Her journey is a reminder to us all that the human spirit is capable of turning barriers into bridges, obstacles into opportunities, and that we are all capable of ascending to success no matter what challenges we face. Evelyn Glennie is not just a musician, she's an inspiration. This Scottish virtuoso, with her unyielding spirit and groundbreaking techniques, has etched her name in the annals of music history. But her impact stretches far beyond the concert halls and recording studios. Evelyn's life story resonates as a symphony of resilience, a testament to the power of passion and determination. Evelyn has revolutionized the music world by bringing percussion to the forefront. With her mastery over a thousand instruments, she's not just a performer, she's an innovator. Her unique way of hearing music through vibrations has opened up new avenues of musical exploration, challenging the traditional notions of sound and listening. But her contributions don't end at music. Evelyn has become a beacon of hope for the deaf community. Her phenomenal success, despite her hearing loss, has shattered stereotypes and proven that deafness is not a barrier to achieving one's dreams. Her story sends a powerful message that disability does not define ability. Evelyn's commitment to inspiring the next generation of musicians is another facet of her legacy. She regularly conducts 
free concerts in schools and hospitals, nurturing young talent and sharing her love for music. Her efforts have not only cultivated a new generation of musicians, but have also brought the joy of music to those who may not have had access to it. Evelyn's extraordinary work has garnered her recognition and accolades from the global music community. She was awarded the prestigious Soloist of the Year Award by the Royal Philharmonic Society in 1991, a testament to her remarkable talent and dedication. Her influence and impact have been further acknowledged by master percussionist James Blades, who said that though God may have taken her hearing, he has given her something extraordinary. Evelyn Glennie has not only transformed the world of music, but also redefined what it means to listen. She's not just a musician or a percussionist. She is an innovator, an inspiration, and a living testament to the power of resilience and determination. Evelyn's journey is a symphony of resilience, determination, and passion. Born into a world of silence in rural Scotland, she dared to dream in melodies and rhythms. Her disability was not a barrier, but a unique perspective, a different way to experience and create music. She discovered a new language of sound, one that spoke through the vibrations of the world around her. Her courage led her to the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London, where she not only thrived, but set records. Her talent and tenacity propelled her to the zenith of the music world making her the world's most sought-after multi-percussionist. She didn't just overcome her hearing loss, she transformed it into her strength, her signature. In Evelyn Glennie's world, you do not just hear music, you feel it. And that, perhaps, is the most beautiful way to explain.